This is the most advanced chat app tutorial with Mern Stack on YouTube. Hey everyone and welcome back to Roadside Coder and welcome to a brand new Mern Stack project tutorial series. In this series, we're gonna go ahead and build this chat app from absolute scratch. You don't need to have any prior knowledge of any of these technologies, for example, MongoDB, ExpressJS, ReactJS, and Node.js. You just need to know the basic JavaScript and you're good to go. Also in this chat app, we can have one-on-one -on -one messaging or the group messaging. Unlike other YouTubers who only show you the group chat and not the one-on-one -on -one chat functionality. So let's go ahead and have a comprehensive look on this project that we are going to build. So right off the bat, you can see we have two options over here in the homepage. Either we can log in or we can go ahead and sign up. So I'm gonna go on and sign up. Roadside coder, I'm gonna enter any random email. I'm gonna enter the password. Also, we can click to show and hide the password. And we can go ahead and choose a profile picture. So I'm gonna choose the profile picture and you can see the loading animation and click on sign up. And we are successfully in. Registration successful. Now you can click on over here, click on my profile and see our profile picture with the email address. And we have search user from over here where we can go on and search on other users to chat with. We can create a new group chat and all of our chats will be populated at this place. So let's go on and create a new chat. So I'm going to search a user called guest user, which obviously I already created. So you can see a new chat has been created with the name of guest user and we can send him hello. So yep, you can see the message has been successfully sent over here. Now let me go on and log in with the guest user as well. So we, I can show you side by side the real time messaging. Here it is. I've opened this app in another browser and I'm going to click on guest user credentials. So we're going to get these guest user credentials and log in. Yep. You see, we are successfully logged in and you can see we have a new message from roadside coder. Hello. So I'm going to click over here and type hi. Now, did you notice anything? So we have a typing indicator over here. If I go on and type something else, Yep, you see a typing indicator. So this is a really cool feature of our app. And it's as soon as we stop typing, it's going to go away. So if I go on and type hi and send it, you're going to see the message reaches over here in real time. This is possible by using socket.io. We're going to use socket.io for all of the real time stuff in our app. And we're going to learn that from absolute scratch. So cool. If I go on and reply it again, we can reply it with the emoji. Yeah, we enter. Yep, you see, it supports emojis as well. Also, we can go on and see the other user's profile. For example, for guest user, if I click on, on this I button, yep, you see his profile and he can see my profile by clicking on the I button as well. Also, one more thing I forgot to show you. If I go back and let's say if he sends me another message, if I let's say if I send another emoji and if I'm not on the chat, you're going to notice we get a notification over here. You can see one indicator. We can click on this notification, click on here, and you're gonna see the notification goes away and we are redirected inside of our chat. Also, all of these messages that you see, these are not temporary messages. These are persistent in our database. So every time you log in, these messages are still gonna be there. I'm gonna get to the database in just a minute. So this was one-on-one -on -one chat, right? Let's go on and create a new group chat. So I can click on new group chat and create a chat name but first let me log into another user so we can see all of three users together okay so here's another browser i'm gonna go on and log in with john at example.com login successful awesome now let's go on and create a new chat with guest user and john let's click on new group chat and i'm gonna enter the name let's say for youtube and i'm gonna enter john Yep, there we go, John. And let's add guest user. And let's create the chat. And you can see the chat has been created for me. And if I click on this and send, hi guys, press enter, you're gonna see both of them get the notification in real time and the chat has been created for them successfully. We can click on this over here, click on this message to go to the chat or we can click on the chat directly to go inside of the chat. So this is a really cool feature of this app. And I bet you are starting to see why this app is so advanced than the other tutorial. 
Now, while we are in this group chat, we can click on this I button and configure the settings for this chat. For example, we can change the chat name. Let's say YouTube demo, click on update. And you're gonna see the chat name has been updated for the group. Now we can add or remove the users from this group as well. So I can click on over here. So if I go back and you're gonna notice, if I click on over here and remove the John Doe, you're gonna see the chat has been gone for John Doe. And if I, let's add another user, let's add Jane. Yep, Jane has been successfully added. But you notice one thing, if I go on over here and try to add any user, let's add Piyush, you gonna notice only admins can add someone. That means this user has only created this group. So that's why this user can only add someone or remove someone. So this is the authorization that we're gonna use inside of this app. So awesome, let's go on and see where is all of this data being stored in our database. So this is our MongoDB database. We can see we have three sections for chats, messages and users. All of the data related to the chats, that means uh, let's see if we created the chat YouTube demo over here. You see the, the chat data is inside of over here. We can see who's the group admin, if it's group chat or not. So you can see over here, this is not a group chat. So this is false. And we can see all of the users that are inside of this group chat or inside this one on one chat. I know this might be a little bit complex for you right now. So don't worry, we're going to understand everything one by one as we go along this tutorial. Okay, so this was for chats and for messages, we can go on to the messages collection and we can see all of the messages are over here so if you go down to the very latest message you can see hello guys and hello and stuff all of the latest messages are over here and for our users so for example if i created the roadside coder user right now so let's see yep you can see roadside coder user is right over here and notice the password is in the encrypted format. So that means the database manager can himself not see what the password of user is because this is encrypted by using something called bcrypt, which we are also going to understand in coming tutorials. And obviously we have this picture which is stored in Cloudinary. So this was our full stack chat application with Mernstack and using socket.io. You can access the whole tutorial series by clicking on the playlist link in the description below. So subscribe to the channel for future tutorials because next video is dropping very, very soon. And trust me, you don't want to miss this series because this project will look amazing on your resume and recruiters are gonna love it.